Hey, what's up guys? This is Sohan and you are watching Technical Spa. In our WC series, today we are going to learn UAT environment, which means user acceptance test for our WCs. Friends, normally uh, if you are a home user, then what happens whenever any new updates is available, your Windows Server automatically downloads that particular update and installs on your PC. Normally people won't face any issue. But what? After installation of latest updates, your PC start misbehaving or one of the your application get crashed or your system itself got crashed. What you will do? So in this situation, you are the only one who is affected, then the impact is very normal. But when it's come to the organization level where thousands, ten thousands, one lakh, two lakhs users are working, at that time it is very critical accept that much of big impact. Hence, UAT groups are configured. So in UAT group, basically what happens, uh, whenever any new patches is got released by any OEM or you can say vendor like Microsoft, okay. So that patches are get tested on set of machines from different different departments to understand how exactly your system functions or your PC behave after introduction of those packages and IT people monitor those particular performance or behavior for let's say 3 days, 5 days, 1 week or 1 month and once they confirm that everything is running smoothly then only those patches are approved to install in all the machines which is available on that particular company to minimize the impact. So this is the only thing which we are going to learn in this WSO series so that you will understand how to configure UAT environment. So before I show you practically one small intro video. Welcome back guys. Now let's very first open our WSUS. In WSUS, as you could see, this is my pre WSUS server. So right now there is no multiple groups are configured in my this particular machine. So let's configure one group here. Right click and choose add computer group and here I'll give a name UAT group and click on add as you could see group has been created but there is no computer added into this particular group right now let me set the status to any refresh so our second task is we have to move system to this UAT group so what I'll do I'll move this particular DC to, uh, to my this particular UAT group Ignore about this exclamation mark, is the uh, exclamation mark showing because the patching is not completed. 99% is patching completed on this particular machine, that's why it's showing exclamation mark. One update is still required for this patching mark to be gone. So let's move one machine to this particular group, UAT. So to change the group, we have to right click on this and select change membership and select UAT group, done. My machine is gone from, gone from the unassigned computers and it's available now in UAT group so our group is done so similarly you can add your various machines like windows 7 windows 8 windows 10 windows 11 or different different types of servers to this particular group do not add all group only less critical machines or servers you can add into this group once you are done then we have to go to the option in option go to the automatic approval so if there is one by default rule is available in advanced, you can ignore these settings. In update rules, what I'm going to do, you can edit the same rule or you can create new one. So let's create one new rule. And then what exactly we have to do here is click on very first option. What it says when an update is in specific classification. So click on that, any classification. Okay, so we are good. So as per your WSUS requirement, I hope you have selected uh, the appropriate options while configuring the WSUS, right? So accordingly, you can select those options here. Since this is my test environment, so I'm going to remove some of the things from here. Driver sets, drivers, feature packs, tools, that's it. I'll click on OK. So I have selected what are the things which is I required. Additionally, when an update is in specific product, tick mark on this uh, box as well. Any product, by default, it's selected all the options. But as per your requirement, you can select required options only. Once you are done, then it's good or it's up to you whether you really want to select these options or not. For now, I'm going to you know keep this selected and then very important third option set a deadline for the approval. Click on this. Now here I'll provide the approval time is 8 days at 11 a.m. and click on OK. Provide a name here, your T group 
patching once you are done then click on ok so here is my group created friends now very important approve the updates for all computers so here we have to carefully select only UAT group ok so all the updates will only be applicable to our UAT group only and once the configuration is done you can simply click on apply and then ok guys if in case you don't want to wait for approval or anything then you can again open the automatic approval page and tick this box and tick your default rule which is available and here you can select UAT group ok and the update criticality or severity select all that which is your required and click on ok so that as soon as the update is available it will be deployed to this UAT group and once your testing is done you can roll out to all the enterprise your company apply ok so this is how UAT can be done using WSUS on WSUS environment friends I hope now you have understood what is UAT environment and how we can configure this in WSUS and going forward do not deploy patches directly to all computers until and unless it is tested otherwise there will be a chances of disaster in your environment so going forward be careful and think smart after watching these things if you still have any questions queries then please feel free to let me know in the comment box i will definitely try to answer all of your questions queries that's it in this video this is sohan signing out i'll catch you in the next amazing video till then bye bye